evening. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Rob Johnson. We begin with a developing story. Racist and threatening words at a high school. Messages filled with so much fear, some students actually stayed home. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemignot was in Oak Park tonight, where a meeting is happening right now. Suzanne. Well, Rob, Erica, the focus of this meeting, attended by parents, teachers, students, people living in the community, along with faith-based and community leaders, is to bring about change in light of what you're about to see. This is one of the racist rants discovered Monday at Oak Park River Forest High School. Scrawled inside the girls' restroom, all N-words need to die, followed by a swastika, the words white power, then death to blacks, Muslims, gas the Jews. A desk was also defaced. It's unnerving. Um, it, it brings uh, to light the fact that we have a lot of work to do as a community. Parent Shelly Jamison says her daughter showed her the racist images circulating on social media. She was in shock. Jamison's daughter is multiracial. We kept her home yesterday um, specifically for her safety um, and with the uncertainty with how the school was going to proceed. The school had a student assembly to address concerns. We wanted to ensure our students that their voices are being heard that we understand the fear. Before Monday's incident, racial slurs were also written on a shed by the school tennis court. Oak Park River Forest was the subject of a documentary shot three years ago, America to Me, revealing two different worlds for white and black students at the school. We have worked diligently over time to address that. And I think if you talk to any of our student leaders, they will tell you that they see things changing.